here and I'm back and today I have a brand new awesome video to show you guys this time I'm going to be showing off a contraption using a brand new target block that's just been out into the game so we're in snapshot 20w09a and in this one they added in the target block that they showed off a while back now for the for those of you who don't know the target block is a block that registers a entity impact and translates it into a signal strength based on where I hit so you can see if I hit the extremity of the block then the signal strength is very low if I hit the middle of the block signal strength is much higher and yeah so the first thing that came to my mind is let's make a machine that is able to take that signal strength and translate it into a number and shows it up top and I have done so right here so let's hit the rightmost pixel we hit the rightmost pixel it barely registers anything, not even one. If we hit a bit closer, you'll see this should give us a two because we're in the second pixel. If we hit the middle, well, that's error randomness for you. We're at six, and the middle will be seven because it's, count it's counting for every second pixel. That's still six, and there you go, seven. And I added a little sound there. So, yeah. And in this in this uh, video, I'm going to show you guys how to build this as well as how it works. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first segment we're going to be taking a look at is the target block decoder. That's what I'm going to define this as. Basically, it's this purple circuit over here. What it does is it takes the target block's output and converts it into one one of these outputs based on where you hit. So, for example, right now it's zero, but if you see, we're going to hit it up here in the corner. So it's going to switch to 1. If we hit in the middle, it'll switch to 15. You see? Bullseye. <laughs> uh, let's hit over here a bit more to the side. So yeah, it's basically counting up. Uh, unlike the machine we had before, this one is much more accurate. This would go from 0 to 15. Instead of the other machine we, uh, we had, which I just showed you, it goes from 0 to 7. Uh, th that other machine is using this same circuit, only the resolution is ev every second torch. It'll change. I'm doing that because over here, first of all, yeah, let's just see a bit more. It, it's actually a weird uh, mathematical equation that it's doing. It's, it's, it's uh, counting two, p two numbers per pixel. So it's here from the outside to the middle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth pixel. And still, we have a total of 15 uh, different signal strengths, which it uh, can equate to. So that's why to just round it up, I did 0 to 7. Also, uh, to save space, and it's, I don't think it's that necessary. But technically, you can, do, you can uh, use this for a different signal strength. Uh, a use for this um, circuit as well, I would say, is a, say you want to, to have like a, this door that only opens if you have a certain signal strength. You could easily do that with this setup over here. So only if you hit, I don't know what, a bullseye. Uh, well, that wasn't a bullseye, but you get what I meant. Then you'll take an output. Uh, but, and yeah, that's the, e there, there's other easier ways to do that. This just gives you the more, uh, more options. So that's the first part. Next, we're going to be looking at the data saving function. Now I've built up the second part, okay? Now don't get scared, this isn't that difficult. Uh, what you're looking at here is, first of all, we're taking both signal, uh, signals from these two torches and combining them and doing that repeatedly for all of these. And we're inputting them into what's known as a D flip-flop, okay? Now a D flip-flop, don't get scared by that term, is a data switch. What, what I mean by that? It's uh, a switch which preserves data, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want in continuous uh, data to be preserved, even though the target blocks only flickers for a bit. Okay, uh, just I built up one of these things here to give you an example of what it does. So right now, as you can see, I'm spamming the input, and nothing's happening. But as as soon as uh, the top lever is on, then the output can change from on to off. So this is uh, the output. You see now. Now uh, the output, uh, the input's on. Now we turn off the the clock, and it doesn't matter how much you spam the input anymore. And same thing for, uh, say, uh, it's off. Then we leave. Won't change. So we're using that here over multiple times, and that's how we get 
the continuous output. So right now we're at zero. And let's hit it. And you can see now we're at three. So, and it's just staying on. So that's the second uh, segment of this system. Next, we're going to be looking at the uh, seven segment display portion, uh, which isn't actually designed by me. It's a design uh, shown off by SD Petty. The link will be in the video description below. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to quickly build that up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've built up the last two parts. Okay, I built the yellow part, which is just wires that connect the white segment, white circuit, into the green circuit, which the green circuit is SD Petty's seven segment display. And that's about it. Uh, there is a world download in the video description for anyone who wants to come here and check it out yourselves. Uh, the reason I'm not doing it block by block is it's basically it's quite simple. It's just a lot of simple circuits put together, and there is no one correct way to do it since it's not very it's not the most compact it can be. And uh, yeah, uh, so it works with snowballs, so that's five, and it works with arrows, so that's one. And uh, as you, see, uh, you saw, I did it before. You can just take the signal out from over here and uh, hook it up to anything you want. If you want specific things, like for example, right now it's on, it's on, uh, it's on uh, one over here. Uh, so, so yeah, just stuff like that. You can take the signals out. You can mess around with the concept, but that's it. So anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I would love to see what you guys think, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.